We all know like so many people are out there having sex. The question is, do they know how to protect themselves? Leila now lives with her uncle Cyril, who is married to Uju. Uju is Leila's aunt, but she's young as well. And um, Leila is a young woman who's going through a lot. And her uncle is not as open-minded as his wife. He's the man of the house, so his word is final. Oh. From now on, you don't leave this house, except for your computer lessons. Cyril is not a fan of contraception at all. He believes abstinence is the best policy. But the reality is, Uju understands that Leila is sexually active. I hope you use protection when you sleep with him. Who is sleeping with anybody? I mean, you're sneaking out, going clubbing, spending time with guys, and you expect me to believe that you're not doing anything, not even kissing, because I know that I was when I was your age. Why would I want to go talk to my auntie about sex? Eh? What's that? But Auntie Uju is not that kind of auntie. She's the kind of auntie that will sit you down and let you know that, look, you're an adult, it's your life. If this is what you want to do, this is the best way to handle it. No one would tell me anything about sex, but once I was accidentally knocked up, everyone suddenly had all this information and advice to give me. She did not plan to have a baby when she was that young. She was not using birth control and she was not using protection, which is why she got pregnant. So I think it's trying to make sure that that does not happen to Layla but also not wanting Cyril to feel like she's encouraging Leila to be sexually active. She's more or less telling her, have sex, but be safe. Cyril is saying, don't have sex, don't even have a boyfriend, don't let me see you with boys. It creates a lot of tension between him and Uju and him and uh, Leila as well. Uju says, we need to take you to the nurse. What about the morning after pill? It can be used any time of the day, but it's just for emergencies. Why? Long-term or frequent use of it can actually affect your menstrual cycle. So it's better you use the daily pills, which has milder effects. The nurse explains all the different types of contraception. You know, there are different options. But you have to take those pills every day if you want to avoid pills. There are implants or IUDs that you can use. And even with these options, you should still use a condom unless you're in an exclusive relationship with someone that you trust. I find some contraceptions and I'm not too happy about that. I tell them, no, no one's having sex. In fact, I blame Uju. Did you have anything to do with this? Babe, there's just a possibility that she might be having sex. So we should tell her to jump on every boy she meets, eh? But in the real world, you know, abstinence works. Sometimes, sometimes it doesn't work as well. We're showing you a lot of options. So now it's left to you to decide and practice safe sex. HIV AIDS is real, STIs are real, and also there's a very high chance of unwanted pregnancies. Babe, I'm out of condoms. If you're not prepared constantly, there's a high chance that you can have unprotected sex. You're not gonna expect me to go out and buy one like this. And I think that's what the messaging really is, that if you're sexually active, you should be prepared.